Hello, hi, I'm Patricia McNeely, located in Chicago, Illinois. How are you today? If this is new to you, if I'm new to you, welcome to my channel. My channel is about ascension, twin flames, soulmates, love, healing, and everything in between. Because it contains every aspect of your life. So welcome. Hey, in today's video, I want to talk to you about this moon energy. Now, this may or may not be news to some of you that you can feel affected by lunar energy. Hence, we get the name lunatic or the word lunatic. The lunatics are on the grass. Thanks, Pink Floyd. Hey, you know what? There's a lot more influence that you're able to pick up on than ever before. And it ain't going to stop. So that's one thing I want to talk to you about is helping you to get through some of this energy because it's sometimes as the moon is rising, you kind of get this crash of a wave. And then it's like you're in the muckety muck trying to deal with stuff. Wouldn't you like to have a way to help you, to especially help your emotional side, your emotional body, your mental emotional body? Now, we are in the month of mental health, mental health day, a couple of kinds of cancer that we acknowledge people that we know. Sorry that we've lost. Yep, I've lost people too. I feel like I've dodged those bullets myself. Breast cancer, prostate cancer. How are we going to bring a harmony, a balance? It's through your emotional body. Now, this goes way beyond just not overreacting, okay? That's only a first step. The real step is getting the body in the integrations that actually help you. So, what else does this have to do with? See, I'm a little bit um, maudlin maybe because a friend of mine just texted me that her dad just died. And while I'm sorry for her, he's not really suffering anymore. He really wasn't himself. He was, you know, back and forth between the hospital and the nursing home. And so he really wasn't going to have a quality of life anymore. But still... Sometimes you remember people how they were when they were good, when they were healthy. That's all of us. We have a memory of it. We have a memory of it from somewhere where we were good, where we were healthy, where we weren't bogged down or affected by the world or having to survive. Now, while a lot of us are coming out of this, it still needs work, okay? It's a work in progress. And we sometimes need those reminders. So I have something coming up that I hope you'll join. It is about the indigo rising. The indigo energy, if you're not familiar, um, someone coined this phrase a long time ago, the indigos. And what indigo means is it's like kind of like that lower end of the spectrum in color. It's like deep purple, almost black. You know, it's like so richly, deeply blue, purplish that it's verging into black. And yet, you know, this is the energy that pushes up. It's the system buster. It is the social justice warrior. And it's the warrior. Aren't we trying to bring that part of us that may have died at one point for what we had to die or believed in up to the level of the light again. Absolutely. What if you've been fighting the good fight or holding your spiritual ground and yet you are the one that is quite literally trying to bring your other half up out of a level where they may seem stuck or may, they may seem like they're keeping you stuck. What about harmony? What about general harmony within the population? Earth is a closed system in the sense that we're all in this together, and yet people are forgetting that again. And it's not easy to kind of get back in that mode while you still have to work and drive and be in traffic and deal with people and have responsibilities. 
This is about friendship. This isn't about friends leaving you and saying goodbye to friends that you liked, loved, because they're not awakened. It's about being awakened and activated and still being able to be in any situation, okay? Real growth doesn't mean that you spit on people. Real growth means that you can be in a conflict and you can catch yourself and shift it around. And you do that with the help of your higher self by balancing your own emotional body, okay? It's a part of you. It's not just like a consideration like, should I? Should I punch him in the face? Should I get back at them later? Should I just eat it and then retaliate later? No, we got to move past that. This is about your gifts, your real gifts. This is about victory versus the spoils of war and those who have not been the victors. It doesn't matter. Nobody is really a victor if they have conquered or vanquished anyone. That shows up right now. Right now, right here in River City is where that is going to show up, okay? Because all the wounds of the past have to be adjusted somehow. This is going to be about dealing with material loss, saying goodbye to things, um, having to let things go, having to like literally cut it off since it's just a shocking drain. It's about perseverance. And that's what I can say about my friend and what I feel like I've been doing almost for two years here is persevering and persevering, getting up every day doing my routine so that I can find a level of enthusiasm for the day and, and have it be natural, not muster up false enthusiasm like, da -da -da. and I feel like a marionette, like, you know, that's not what this is about. What do you see? You people looking at me. <laughs> Do you ever see that from Chitty Chitty Bang Bang? Yeah, it's a classic. If you are not sure what the hell I'm talking about, well, you probably didn't grow up in the same time frame I have, but I think that you get the idea about just being, you know, like a puppet on the strings going through the motions. That's not who you really are. There is a time to cut cords and there is a time for return of happy memories because you want those to repeat. Your memories are not like, oh, they're from a bygone era. Hell no. They're here, and sometimes you remember them because they need to be a part of your future again. They need to be a part of your future together as lovers. And I'm going to just keep saying this. If part of you is right in that moment when I say togetherness and embittered and you start doubting if you're a twin flame, all right. You're here because there's something about it that speaks to you on the inside. You know it, okay? Twin flame is means a duplication of the exact matching etheric body. Now, what it doesn't mean is a false twin. If you hear those words togetherness and some part of you starts to get bitter and angry and upset or apathetic and you're like, well, I don't care about that idiot anymore. Just stop yourself right there because that is not the one. Not the one, not the one, not the one, okay? So not the one. How do you get through it? You focus on you and let's get you better. Let's get those tensions off of you. Let's get you moving and let's get this back to levels of real life. So this energy can be about real relationships, real productive family relationships, real productive children relationships. What about work? Did you have an awakening and you feel like you just can't work at a regular job anymore? Oh, that can be shifted without too much time and effort. It can become very, very much easier for you. We can't keep having this us and them mentality because it has been there for a long time. It's been carried over from past generations and traditions, all kinds of reasons. But this is a time for people to shine. I have one of my favorite cards here. Now, I do found objects, and I, I had this taped somewhere. I don't want to rip it. 
this is this to me was very significant because these at one time these are um buildings skyscrapers in chicago and um one is the john hancock um here whoops over here and the other one is what we called the Sears Tower. Now it's called the Willis Tower because someone went and bought it. But to most Chicagoans, we have a memory of it being the Sears Tower because Sears was one of those huge, like a catalog giant. Back in the day, they were the Amazon of their day. And that was, you know, it's, it's just sort of ingrained in us here. It's like, you know, I don't know. It's like having the government in Washington, D.C. It's just sort of ingrained there. It's like, what if the government picked up and moved, you know? I mean... It would like, you know, what if you move the Brooklyn Bridge, you know, and people were like, oh, my God, I remember that when that was here. Yeah. What if you moved a mountain? We can move mountains. Okay, so six of cups. That's what this energy is about. Please let me help you easily cut some cords. I will be um, doing some things in my presentation. It's two day presentation. So over the two days, you will find out what to do for your emotional body. And I will give you an outline on daily living that you can adhere to. Now, we're not going to be able to do everything in a full two-day you know, period, no matter how much we do. I'm giving you homework. <laughs> I give people homework because the homework is needed for you to continue opening. If you're just showing up once in a while, I get that. Maybe you're busy, but you can do some own self-care and some own self-stuff to bring about harmony, balance, cut cords, not let it throw you off. Get back in, and I say this, bring your dead warrior to life because no matter who they were in the past, take them home. Build your home. Build your love nest. And let's get going with this. Time to bring your real gifts up and like put the money where your mouth is. If you've been saying stuff and you've been upset, okay, like let's get real action because nothing changes if nothing changes. Being the change means self-transformation and I know how to help you with that. So I hope to see you there. Check the links below. Give me your burning questions. I love to have everyone. There is a synergism. It is a safe protected group and I'm a blu-ray which means that I am love you know embalming everyone <laughs> some beautiful blue light resonance it's my favorite color it's my absolute favorite color in the entire universe let's get some happy future memories going okay so thanks so much for watching and see you there bye